know, you're not doing the patient a service in detoxification by starting to move and eliminate uh, toxins without making sure that the bowel is properly dumping and clearing. Now, it's not probably the easiest, uh, most fun thing to talk about in the very beginning with patients, but you have to start with movement, bowel movement, are they sleeping, are they drinking water, and are they sweating? I mean, these are critical things that need to be in place physiologically before you start pushing on some of these pathways that relate to metabolic detox and clearance. So over the years, I can say that I have become established as a functional medicine doctor in my area and region. And, and honestly, I get a lot of people's challenging cases where they detoxified patients too quickly, too fast, and without taking the time to repair. So I guess my clinical pearl to you and what I'm sharing is I have come to honor the detox process in a way that I now think low and slow lower doses and a slower process until the patient and I both get a sense of how well they're going to handle moving through the use of the nutrients. So whenever I'm doing a detoxification program, I'm going to ask some key questions. Is the patient's bowel moving? Are we dealing with fatigue issues? And are we dealing with any issues that may be related to cognitive decline? When I have a patient that tells me they're tired, they're fatigued, or they're wore out, I'm going to immediately pause and take relevance to what might need to happen from an antioxidant perspective and supporting or fueling the mitochondria. Because if you remember your pathophysiology, you need to have ATP in order to drive conjugating pathways of phase two. When we have tired and fatigued patients and we start to move them very quickly into a detox process, they can actually feel worse before they feel better.